start out with two dark purple nails, uh, which will be our plain nails. One light lavender nail will be our maypole, and then two French tip nails done in that same light lavender. Um, for the French tips, that'll be where the floral designs go. Um, I'm using a small dotting tool just to make five little dots in a circle for the petals of the flowers. Um, here I've done yellow for two, and I'll also use a pink um, mm -hmm. to do a third flower Not on now. that nail. I, I like to do odd numbers to keep the design looking nice, so either one, three, or five, wherever possible. Sometimes there's only space to squeeze two, but I try and do three. Same size dotting tool for everything on those then flowers. The, the pink nile. petals, the yellow petals, Go to the, bank. Um, the leaves, and the centers. We'll have the uh, you can also us. use a toothpick for you this, you but like I find getting the blob off the end is a bit harder right. than with the bald nail tool. Yeah. And finally, some leaves to decorate. Same size small dotting tool. I just sort of flick it and it makes a nice little round end with a pointed tip like a leaf. Um, if your French manicure was not quite perfect, you can cover up that line with a couple more leaves. Um, just place them where you want between the flowers. Give it a nice detail. And finally, a white dot in the center of each flower to complete that nail. If you decided to use colors other than yellow, you could use a yellow dot in the center as well. For the dark purple nails, I just did a three dot design with a big dotting tool. I do sort of land it dead center and then dot it twice on either end to make a slightly smaller dot. I use the same size one for my pinky. I just touch it down lighter to make a smaller dot. And to give that a little bit more pop, I use the smaller dotting tool that we used originally to just put a dot of white in the center of that middle purple dot. And that's it for the dark purple accent nails. Finally, we're moving on to our maypole piece, which is the this manicure. Um, maypoles, I don't know if you've ever been to a May Day celebration, but everybody has ribbons tied to a pole and they dance around in either direction and as you dance, the ribbons wrap around the pole and make a lovely braided design. So our maypole here, we're putting the dancing to the right lines down and then just flip your brush and do the dancing to the left bit tricky with the video mm -hmm. in the way. Sorry about wandering off the screen there. We'll be back. There we go. <laughs> and again, since we're not doing sort of a lattice look, we're just doing the maypole ribbons. If they're a little bit squiggly, that almost makes it more realistic. Um, so kind of even, but not perfectly even. And it makes a nice design. If you want to use multiple colors, you certainly can, but I'm a little lazy. I only like to use my striping brushes, and I own striping paint in black, white, gold, and silver, so that's pretty much the only colors that I do stripes in. Um, so there we have the white done. Um, to make that a little bit more special, I'm just taking the dark purple and the green that we use for the leaves, and dotting those at the intersections of the ribbons. So, kind of random, but on lattice like that, you're going to end up with some sort of pattern between the purple and the green. Um, so I sort of tried to do every other one purple and then fill in the rest with green. I tried it with some of the lighter colors and they just don't show up as well, so I think the two darkest colors work best. Finally, let everything dry for about 10 minutes before adding your top coat. And beautiful manicure for...